Welcome to Meet the Georges, your chance to get your questions answered by St Georges students here. Um, we just want to say thank you very much for all of your questions that you did. We had a really good response um, and if any of our questions aren't answered in this session, we will make sure we get back to you over the next couple of days um, on the website. So now just to meet our students. Hi, I'm Ruth. I'm a first year biomedical science student. Hi, I'm Lisi. I'm a third year medical student. Okay, so let's start off with some questions. Um, so first question here we have from Bethany. Um, and she's saying, during your first year, what was your timetable like and how many days a week did you do and kind of what hours? So we're in pretty much five days a week, every week. Um, you don't often go later than 5pm. On Wednesdays, your, your afternoons for sport and other societies. So sometimes, if you're lucky, you might get the whole of Wednesday off. And that's the same for... Um first and second year medical students as well. We tend to have most of the lectures with the biomedical students and some physios. So, yeah. Okay, uh, another question from Catherine. Um, and I guess it's for you specifically for medicine. Um, how prepared do you feel in regards to anatomy training? Um, so the first one is quite scary when you prepare to go down to the dissection room. Everyone's like, oh my God, what's going to happen? But um, once you get the first one out of the way, it's really good fun. It's hands on and you have sessions every single week in small groups, so you really get to learn a lot of anatomy. Um, then we have a question from Samuel, um, and he's asking whether accommodation is guaranteed in your first year. Yes, if you've got an offer, you're guaranteed accommodation in Horton Halls. Okay, um, and then we've got another question from Samuel and Sophie, both asking kind of about the nightlife around, um, and they're just kind of saying, what do a lot of people go into central London, or do you sort of stay around tooting? And then what, what's the best way and is there lots to do in the area? There's always lots to do. So the student union itself um, has organised lots of um, student nights inside um, the uni. That's always um, good fun and a nice way to meet new people, especially during freshers. There's also places in Tooting and the northern line on the tube gets you into central in less than half an hour. So there's always lots to do. So as well as all the pubs and bars and other restaurants and things and tooting there's um, some big clubs and things in Elephant Castle and Clapham and you can walk to places like Balham so really the London's at your fingertips You're, it's easy to get around and you can do whatever really whatever fancy, fancy. Yeah. And there's also um, the tram and social isn't there which is often in the Time Out magazine as being quite a good place to go which is literally in tooting yeah, yeah it's so. about a minute from Tooting Broadway Station and it's great on a Friday night. <laughs> okay, uh, another question from Sophie, um, and this is much more directed to you for medicine. Um, how much variation is there in the choice of SSC and maybe you can maybe say what they are? Okay, sure. So SSC is a student selected component. So in first and second year you don't get as much freedom. So there's um, a list of topics that you can choose from and then you'll have a tutor and you do a project in it. In third year onwards, you have a lot of freedom. You do a project in anything you want. You could do it abroad and it's such a good opportunity to do something that you're really interested in. Great. Um, okay, so question from Jasmine. Um, and how easy is it to get a job if you're doing medicine? Um, so with the busy schedule that you have to be in, Every day, more or less nine to five, it's really difficult to fit in a part-time job, especially in later years when you're on placement um, for several weeks at a time. Um, I had a job bartending and it was very difficult to work in the evening and then go to uni on time on the next morning, so I wouldn't recommend it myself. Especially in the, the first couple of years, it's really important that you get involved in everything that you can at university, get as many friends and social aspects. So if you're trying out lots of societies, it's just really impractical to be able to fit everything in because training and rehearsals and things often go into late into the night. And if you really wanted a part-time job, you can work as a student ambassador, you can work in the um, student union shop or in the student union bar. So there are some opportunities that you can get involved with. Okay, a question from Jin. Um, and he's saying about Horton Halls, if he's able to stay throughout the five years, or is it better to move out? And then how easy is it to find accommodation if you do have to move out? So uh, after the first year, you can reapply to live in Horton Halls, but it depends on how many first years there are that want to live there and 
sort of potluck, whether they have a space for you. Although, although there are often the second years and third years that are there, there's not that many. Most students move out. Um, lots of tutings got student accommodation, so you can find anything from a one to six bedroom house. Different price ranges, depends what you're looking for in a house. Yeah. And it's really nice to go from halls to then live in a house with some of your friends because um, there might be the possibility that they don't actually get on with your flatmates in halls, so it's nice to live with people you like as well. That's something to consider. Great, uh, another question from Leyland. Um, how many students on average are there on each of your courses, so medicine and biomedical science? So there's 180 biomedical science students in my year, but the numbers are increasing, so I would estimate there's probably going to be about 200 in your year. Um, in medicine is about 150 and a bit less in the, un the postgraduates that get into medicine. And then from third year you sort of combine into one big cohort. Um, but just to make sure that you know that lectures are combined for the first couple of years, so you're going to be looking at lectures of about 300 students. Great. Um, another question. Um, could you tell us a bit about the term times and kind of are your holidays short or long? I, mean, I guess it differs depending on what course you're doing, but in general. So first and second year, you get quite a lot of good holidays and term times are pretty standard, although exams are slightly later than at other universities. Yeah, and then for medicine from third year onwards, holidays do tend to get a bit shorter. Um, summer holidays can be about four weeks long, so it's a bit different. Okay. Um, and normally for kind of each of your courses, what would be the latest lecture you would ever have? So kind of in the evening, would you have an evening or the bigger one in the evening sometimes? So the latest lecture I've ever had finished is at 5, although I've got one scheduled to finish at 5.30 next week. <laughs> <laughs> There's rarely um, lectures that are scheduled for that late. I have had one or two that's scheduled for 5 that goes until 6. Um, there are some optional lectures that you can go to in the evening that some lecturers um, set time aside, but they are optional. Cool. Um, we've also got a question here about how it, how it is being completely surrounded by healthcare students. So do you guys enjoy it or do you feel that you get variety? Is it like a supportive network? Yeah, so you, most of the time you don't even realise that everybody's doing the same course because everybody has such a wide variety of social interests and societies and talents that we can do everything that other universities can as far as sports and performance societies. And it's really nice to know that you're with like-minded people. And um, there's quite a lot of talk about the famous St George's Review show. Um, can you just kind of tell us a little bit about it? Because um, it kind of features as being you know, one of the main I mean, the social networks and the fact that it's you go to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. So give us a bit of an overview of it. Yeah. Um, so the Review is a comedy society and every year people audition to get in and they write sketches and they will have um, shows and then they'll go to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival and also have um, a UH Review Night where the other medical schools from London um, all get together and sort of have a little battle off who's the funniest, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so could you tell us a bit about the kind of societies and clubs that you are both part of? So I'm in the cheerleading society as is Lucy and um, so we're going to Manchester next week to compete and so we have a stunting squad and a street dance squad this time although we did a cheer routine in December so I've never done anything like that before really good new skills and a great way to meet some great people and some of my best friends since I got to university um, I also um, in the music society because I play the flute so I was part of musical um, which was a great experience and we performed the first the first ever showing of Eternity Cities in London. And um, I'm also a year rep, so I get involved in student union meetings and changes to the biomedical science course. So it's get to get, great to get involved. Yeah, so as well as that, there's also other sports. Um, I also did hockey, and there's so many sports going around. There's football, netball, rugby, rowing, basketball, tennis, you name it, we've probably got it. And, um, and if sports isn't your thing, we've got things like the musical, we've got a fashion show, which is a dance show, 
um, we've got the Diwali show, we've got um, the tutoring show, there's just so many things that you can get involved with, so there'll be something out there for you. Um, so could you tell us a bit about the support that you get from um, lecturers and maybe older students and kind of how that helps you learn? Um, so when you come to Georgia's we have a family system so first years we'll get a mum and dad, mum or a dad who are in second year and then you have grandparents who are in their third year and we have separate little families and it's great. They help you with work. They tend to allocate it to the course that you're doing. Um, they help you work and there's social activities that's done in the family. So there's great support there. You can always go to them. Also, the lecturers are always happy to answer questions at the end of lectures. They're normally really good with their emails and replying to that. Most of them will quite happily see you in their office. So feel free to ask anybody as most people are more than happy to help. Um, okay, so we all know that kind of moving away from home is a bit of a big deal um, and living by yourself. Could you give us kind of a bit of a, an idea about how you've kind of got through the, the whole Horton Halls living there and um, is it a nice community feel and like kind of doing things for yourself, being a bit more independent? So that's one of the best things about Horton Hall is everybody who's there has just moved away from home pretty much and most of them have never cooked before and lots of them haven't ever done laundry and you're all in the same boat and you're all about 30 steps away from each other so you're, you can easily call on a friend to help you out. Um, you're in flats of six so you've got five people just next door just to help you out if you need a friend to sort of help you <laughs> figure out how much washing detergent you need um, and so it's a great way of supporting each other in your first steps of living without mum or dad or <laughs> whoever looks after you at the moment. Yeah, and it's a great intermediate before actually properly moving out into a house where you then have to worry about bills and everything. So, and it's great to have people and to live with other people outside of your family. So it's really good fun. Great. And I guess the final question to sum it up is kind of what you guys want to go on to do or have you got any big plans for the future with your degrees? Or maybe even just ideas about what people can go and do. Um, so at the moment I'm looking to do the transfer onto medicine but it's very, very competitive and there's not very many spaces, so I'm going to try my best, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but seeing, since I've been here, that I've been talking to lots of lecturers and actually I'm looking much more interesting <laughs> um, into research and teaching, so I am not going to make any decisions yet. <laughs> um, my future's a long way in advance and I uh, just enjoy while I have my time at George's. And at the end of my degree, hopefully I'll be a doctor. And then uh, in our fifth year, we apply for the foundation jobs year one and two, and then we can decide what specialties we like to go in. So again, I don't have any ideas yet. Just <laughs> out. Oh, we'll see, yeah. Great, well, thank you very much for watching and coming to join us and for all your questions. And for anything else, we'll get back to you literally within the next day. Um, so yeah, it was nice to meet you and we hope you enjoyed.